out to our first game of the day out in west uh, region, Sacramento, New Mexico, and Virginia. And a courtside, Dave Sims and Larry Farmer. Dave. All right, Patrick. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Sacramento, California. First round west region action. New Mexico taking on Virginia. Take a look at the action that we will be seeing here today. Following our game, we have Arizona and Loyola of Maryland. And then tonight, Louisville and Boise State, Minnesota against Southern Illinois. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Sims, along with Larry Farmer, who knows a little bit about the NCAA tournament, having won 89 games, losing only one at UCLA. And Larry, give the folks an idea of what is going through the minds of the players and coaches right now, seconds away from the action. Nervous anticipation. You've worked all year to be a part of the field of 64, and you're finally here. The coaches can't wait to hammer home those last bit of pertinent information, and the players just want to get the game started. Indeed. Greg Brown's a guy we want to focus on for New Mexico, player of the year in the Western Athletic conference he is a beauty but greg brown is exceptionally quick he's a very very clever dribble and he's got the skill he can shoot it off the dime he's got the green light he's also very very clever with the ball which allows him if you blink it up he will penetrate and create a shot for himself or for a teammate virginia cavaliers come in having lost to north carolina very good game in the acc tournament in the championship game their team that gets here sometimes for being ugly but they win ugly and junior burrow's a guy who's a dynamic inside player who's going to be key today well junior burrow has got a very nice inside game. He's very strong and explosive. He's got a very nice touch around the basket. He creates shots for himself or for a teammate. He can step back and shoot the 12 to 15 foot shot. And if he's really feeling it, he does have the ability to step back and also shoot the three pointer, which will put an exceptional amount of pressure on the defense. Starting lineups for our game today for New Mexico. Marlo White, Kanachit Nevs, big guy, steps outside to hit the threes. Lewis Lamar. Charles Smith and Greg Brown in the backcourt. For Virginia, Jason Williford. Jamal Robinson's a freshman, made all ACC tournament team. Junior Burrow, Harold Dean in the backcourt. He also is a freshman, made all ACC tournament team. And Cornell Parker. Dave Bliss, the coach of the Lobos in his sixth season. 50-year-old, born in Binghamton, New York. An impressive record. 60% plus Jeff Jones, Virginia, through and through as a player assistant coach and now in this fourth season leading the Wahoos. Here's how the Lobos got here, 23 and 7. WAC Conference, they uh, lost to Hawaii in the semifinal, sixth tourney appearance and the second in a row and three out of the last four. For the blue and orange of Virginia, the numbers there, Atlantic Coast Conference, of course, second straight appearance and 12th overall, they have a rich tradition in the NCAA tournament. Our officials for this afternoon's game. Ted Valentine, Sid Rodhofer, and Edward Schumer. We're ready for action here at Arco Arena. First time that the NCAA tournament has paid a visit to Sacramento, California. a lot of threes today larry the new mexico lobos have taken 757 three-point attempts on the season that's an average of a little bit over 25 a game they get up and down the floor and when you recruit shooters that's exactly what you want them to do you want to get them open and get them in position to score for Virginia, Harold Dean, an outstanding freshman. He replaced Corey Alexander, who broke his ankle back in the opener against Connecticut. Impressive numbers for the freshman, Larry. The minutes played, he's first, assist, he's second, and in scoring, he's third. You know, after you get a certain number of minutes, you no longer are a freshman. When you gain that kind of experience, that, in my opinion, moves you along, and you are now a sophomore in terms of your ability to know how to play Division I basketball. Terrific afternoon and evening of basketball coming to you from Sacramento, and the Lobos will get first back. Don't take your eye off the screen when Brown has the ball. Number 12. Virginia in a man-to-man -man defense. They'll pressure up, and I'm sure Harold Dean is going to give a nice cushion to Greg Brown. That's the matchup that I was just speaking about. He changed the shot, and he makes it anyway. You saw him make the adjustment. 2-0 New Mexico. 
the Browns got that electric first step, and you've got to allow a cushion to give him up, himself an opportunity not to let him drive around. Parker down to three and missed. Lobos come right back. defensive scheme has got to be at its best when you're Virginia. You've got to make sure that you have good help side. Smith with the miss and a rebound to Virginia. Back come the Cavaliers inside the Burrow. Burrow with the left hand and a foul on the play. Lewis Lamar got a piece of it. Now here's Junior Burrow. He sets down in the post, gives a good target, Makes a nice move to the basket, and there you see the reach in by Lewis Lamar. They officially credited the foul to Kanachik Nez, number 30 for New Mexico, his first. And Burrow misses at the line. Burrow just 65% from the line. Good numbers, though, almost 15 a game. You look at his body, he's very strong in his lower body, which is really an asset when you play on the inside. What a follow! <laughs> Jamal Robinson, the freshman, and the Wahoos have tied it at two. Jamal Robinson really enjoyed that one. That's a cardinal sin. Whenever you are assigned a defensive position on a free throw, you must box out and not allow your opponent to get a second shot. What a great play by Jamal Robinson, number 13. Brown deep, in and out. Burrow with the rebound. Virginia will push. Dean lost the handle for a second. Williford, Dave Bliss wanted to call on that one. Burrow going to try to power inside. The turn is no good. The freshman there again, and he missed that one. And had to hang on the rim to prevent an injury. Brown in a hurry. Smith forces the action. And knocked out of bounds by Harold Dean, number 21. Active freshman Jamal Robinson here. And see, no one really puts a body. Chris Smith should have put a body on Jamal, and he did not. So Robinson's progress to the basket was really unimpeded. With his leaping ability, he got to the ball and finished. Brown trying to create Lamar inside. And good defense by Virginia. New Mexico off to a poor start, shooting just one for five. Virginia, one for three. That dribble penetration that New Mexico is using right now will really test the team defensive ability of Virginia. You can't control the point of attack. You must help. Robinson inside off glass. And breaking out is Greg Brown. Wilford had a couple of opportunities. Greg Brown right back and scores. Four points. All of the points for the Lobos by Greg Brown. Setting that up with a nice hesitation fake crossover move to get himself in a position to slice to the defensive score. Parker trying to create. Burrow. Got a good look at it. He's short. Rebound New Mexico. Carl Smith to Greg Brown. Brown with the spin in the paint. Forced it. Lamar bails him out. Greg Brown. Not this time. Another rebound by Lamar, and right at us. And a nice <laughs> Smith not to wipe us out. That was a nice catch, Dave. I didn't realize you were that quick. Nev's inside, Nev's hammered, foul. And not yet, Nev's will go to the line. Here's Brown in the open court. It gives a nice little move, hesitation, and when he's so quick, you've got to respect that move. He fake left, goes right, and there's really nothing you can do about it except yell for help. Hope a teammate can bail you out and maybe stop his path to the basket. Yuri Barnes into the game now. 6'8 junior out of Richmond, Virginia. Burrow takes a seat. Picked up a couple of fouls, so he's on the bench. Kanachit Nevs. Teammates call him Notch. Thought to be the only Native American playing Division I basketball. A real good player. His first point, and the Lobos lead 5-2. 
Coming up on the four-minute mark here, first half. Good to have you from Hardcore Arena in Sacramento. Dave Sims and Larry Former with you as we start the Friday edition of round one action in the NCAA tournament. The spin was missed. Nebs with the rebound. Dean had a good shot, but Nebs brings it down. Lobo's back. And good defense by Burrow to get a piece of that one. Back come the Wahoos, Jamal Robinson. Good time in transition. Brown really tried to force that. He's got to let that play come to him on the fast break. It's not there. Run your offense. Dean, a little short. Barnes rebound. New clock for Virginia. You'll find this, you'll find this happening a lot in these tournament games where the kids come out as Burles hits that outside shot, where the kids come out and, and they're nervous, and they play off that nervous energy. Their shot selection, sometimes you'll see a lot of contact around the basket, but once that nervousness wears off, they settle down, that's when they'll get into a rhythm. Number 22, Scott Pritchett, defensive specialist, and we'll walk the floor. Foul against New Mexico. 15-19 to go, 5-4 New Mexico. We'll be right back. People say it was inside the count. Well, people, I got a confession. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. Don't let flakes be the first thing people see. Head and shoulders helps prevent flakes. Doesn't just rinse them away like regular shampoos. It's like no other shampoo in the world. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. In a minute, we gotta talk. You're canceled. How do you get canceled out of a commercial? You're not getting the ratings, Chevy. Uh, I like this stuff. Well, keep the bag, Chev. Oh, you're a sport. Chevy. You look great. Tough year. Good chip. Doritos, tortilla thins. Everything else is just a chip. Napa, we're the most complete source for auto parts. And all Napa parts are backed by a nationwide warranty program. No wonder more Americans trust Napa to keep their vehicles running. For this guy, any deodorant will do. But these guys need Speed Stick, antiperspirant that gives 110%. And now Speed Stick deodorant has a powerful new formula to fight odor. Speed Stick, for movers and shakers, the number one, the only one. So you've done big bet. Tally, hold it. So you've done the South Pole. Polarized dick. So you've done the space. Sphinx it. But have you done the do? Uh-uh. See, you've never done nothing. Here you do the full tilt taste of Diet Dude. Drink it. Drink it. Down it, do this. Oh! He was what, what, not what, what, the monster that the world made him out to be. It takes someone like that to believe the Holocaust never happened. 60 Minutes, Sunday. It is a spectacular spring morning here in Sacramento. You're looking at the Arco Arena, one of the newer facilities in the realm of basketball. New Mexico leading 5-4, shooting not so good so far here, Larry. 29% for New Mexico, 22 for Virginia. Both teams trying to get in a flow, get in a rhythm, and to do that, you've got to first establish yourself defensively, get on the boards, see if you can get something easy in transition, and then start to run your offense with patience so you get good shots. Burrow, baseline, that was a good shot, and he nailed it. Virginia with a 6-5 lead. Four points for Junior Burrow. And showing his versatility, you know, he is a very good inside player, Tim Burrow, but when he moves away from the basket, he can really put a lot of pressure on the defense to come out and guard. Tremendous matchup. Dean, number 21 in white for Virginia against Brown, the 12 in red. Looking for Brown. Cut him off. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Pritchett, straight away, got the lane. Hangs, fires, and misses. Back comes Virginia. Nice give back. And Robinson scores. Well done by Harold Dean to give it back four points. 
for Robinson. And Jamal Robinson alertly tried to use the glass on that shot to soften up his momentum and to really get a good touch on the ball so he had a chance to complete that layup opportunity. Cavaliers lead it by three. Six minutes plus into the game. Brown had to change his shot, throw it away. Robinson, a fine defensive play. I mean, they're going to say we're going to keep it at this end. Jeff Jones is playing this case. Number five coming in for New Mexico. Charles Smith, one of the starters back in for Scott Pritchett. I'm just amazed when I look at Charles Smith and his arms. He has one of the largest wingspans that I've seen on a player his size. Marlo White and a foul, and Burrow knew it. He got a piece, and he couldn't hide. And watch this fast break. Nice dish. The ball's going to come right back to Jamal Robinson. He plans, so he really gets himself set. He realizes he's in traffic, and he wants the two points after all. He softly gets it off the glass, which, again, gives him the opportunity to make the basket. Foul is on Burrow. Second team foul against UVA. White from long range misses. Virginia's ball. White's been in the shooting center. White right in there to take it away. Good steal. He took it from Yuri Barnes. Marlo White. Really not a good decision by Yuri Barnes to try and penetrate that time. The defense collapsed, and there was really not a, an open area to go. They dump it down to Lamar with 19 on the shot clock. Good defense by Virginia. They are not letting anything easy happen in that paint line. You must control the ball first. Brown, not much happening there. Six on the shot clock. Smith lets her rip and got the three. Charles Smith. 33% from long distance. Boy, did he bring that one? And that's when you're a Virginia player. You look over at your coach and say, do you want me to go all the way out there and guard him? Oh, Yuri Barnes in trouble. Pays for it, too. Three on two. Brown's back. Inside White. Sent back with authority. Virginia, they can't save it. But the BLK by Jamal Robinson. and demonstrating his, his leaping ability. He really sends a message to the Lobos. And if you come in here, you better come in here with something strong and you better be determined. But when you can get up that high to block and change the shot, Dave, you're better served at times just stopping the shot, pinning the shot, and then retrieving it. So now you've completed the perfect play. You stop the shot, you send a message, and you have possession of the basketball. Trifecta, sure enough. Brian Hayden, number 35, is in for the Lobos. Nevs can't get a shot off. Smith, the runner. A little hard, good rebound. Nebs, they challenge him, they know about him. Long range, not close by Marlowe White. Dean. Dean to the line, has to hang, but he buys the foul from Greg Brown. Virginia's all about defense, Larry. Well, if, you, if, you, if your defense breaks down and the ball gets on the interior, as it did that time, and you can get bailed out by Jamal Robinson, you like to have that last line of defense. If all else fails, have good shot blockers to protect the goal. But again, shot blocking is stopping the shot and gaining possession of the ball. Although it is a lot of fun to see a guy get his shot thrown out of bounds. You bet. Junior Burrow back in for Virginia number two. Harold Dean. Plays Corey Alexander. Well, Harold did is earn himself a spot on the first team All ACC tournament team. He had never been a point guard. He did a terrific job. 12 points a game. One out of two. And we'll stay here. Virginia ball. Virginia leading 9 8, 11 52. We'll be right back. Hello. So, uh, what'd you think of that Bonneville? Did you drive it? Oh, that SSCI is terrific. Yeah. Supercharged, traction control, ABS, dual airbags, leather. Uh, what a car. I told you. And you were right. It's thousands less than the BMW or the Lexus. Well? I'm picking it up tomorrow. I owe you one, pal. 
Okay. I'll take a white one. Our barbecue chicken sandwich is a hit. Folks love our tangy honey barbecue sauce. Russ, $1.49 barbecue chicken sandwich forever. Not quite. The $1.49 is for a limited time. Ah, we do chicken right. I used pressure-treated lumber, and I still have $800 in water damage. How come? Even treated wood needs Thompson's Water Seal Waterproofer. Without Thompson's, you're wide open for water damage. Thompson's, don't wait until it's too late. Introducing the first and only business calling plan that changes as fast as your business. Introducing the most for business from Sprint. The plan that instantly adapts to your changing calling patterns. So you're guaranteed automatic savings every month. So call now to get the most for business. Because when it comes to business, you better be able to change. After all, it's a jungle out there. Exactly, but it's a good deal. Are they as fast as Hertz? Not exactly, but what's the rush? We're on vacation! Yeah. Dad, are we lost? Hertz gives you computerized directions. Honey, this is not exactly Hertz, okay? Well, I hope they have the same emergency road service as Hertz. Not exactly. In Rent-A-Car, there's Hertz, and there's not exactly. Make sure you choose the right one. Are you sure this is the way to the hotel? Not exactly. <laughs> Did you hear that? Tonight, Dave welcomes Sam Donaldson. This guy is terrific. Plus the excellent Mike Myers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight only, free monogramming. Here on CBS. Pat O'Brien along with Clark Kellogg in our New York studios. Early on in this game, it's a one-point game, 9-8 to eight, Virginia over New Mexico. Want to take you around, walk you around the tournament a little bit, give you a sense of what's going on around the country. First in the Midwest, where Tulsa is shooting 60%, leading UCLA 36-15. Tulsa right there in the dark jerseys. UCLA's been careless, six turnovers, and they're only shooting mid-20% from the floor, which would be a heck of a return on the stock portfolio, but it won't win you a first-round tournament game. Story right now, the Tulsa leads them 36-15. to 15. Another story unfolding, Clark, is over in the southeast for, for Kentucky in the white jerseys is only shooting 26%. I'm sorry, let's go to Landover first for Boston College and Washington State. 26-21 there. Well, you typically expect these eight, nine games to be closely contested. Nothing new here. Boston College, again, a very senior-oriented team, and they won't panic. We just saw a turnover there, but typically they handle the ball well and get high-percentage shots in their half-court offense. 26-21 there. Now let's go to the southeast where that story is unfolding. Kentucky only up by four against Tennessee State. You think Tennessee State can give them a game here? Oh, I really do because they're athletic. They're deep. They've got four guys averaging double digits. They've got a great player in Carlos Rogers. And the style of game, again, that Kentucky plays allows you, if you make basketball plays, good passing, good shooting, finding the open man, you have a chance to beat them. Again, Kentucky shooting at this point 26%. Let's send you now back to New Mexico and Virginia and Dave Sims and Larry Farmer. Dave. Thank you, Pat. Good to have everybody back with us here. 11.20 to go here in the first half in Virginia. Leading by a score of 9-8, to eight. Virginia's got three turnovers at last four possessions, and that's why Kanachit Nevs gets an opportunity right here. Loose ball, and Dean comes up with it for the Cavaliers. We had to revive our partner here, Larry Former, after he saw the Tulsa 36-15 lead over UCLA. When I heard that 60%, I, I thought, oh, this doesn't sound good. <laughs> Side rolls it around. Wilford has it knocked away, and Nevs, and not just Nevs, takes it away. But Jason Wilford really did a good job of finding a, a, a position underneath the basket, but when he rebounded the ball, he committed the cardinal sin, and instead of pulling the ball into his chest and protecting it, he dangled it and got stripped. Shooting thus far has not been award-winning. Brown lets it rip. Real soft shot. Well done. He's got six. He's also got the green light, David. When he can get himself in a position to get a clean, clear look at the basket, he is going to put it up. And Brown is one of those players, if he gets it going, he can be very, very excited. On down low to Junior Burrow. Hooks inside. Throws glass. A little too hard. Run down by White. Oboes by one. 10 9. Brown in traffic. Very long. 
And Williford with the rebound. New Mexico one for eight from three-point range. This is a team that shoots 39% on the season. Inside, Harold Dean got that one for Virginia. It's an excellent move by Harold Dean to drive in, see the defense, pull up and take the shot. Ouch! <laughs> Great ground. He's got nothing. He just came right in his face. You see, he lulls you to sleep with that quickness, and you're always aware that he can throw around you any time. If you give him a cushion, he'll bury the three. And Burrow doing pretty much what he wants down low. He's got six points. Now, defensively for New Mexico, when Junior Burroughs catches the ball, he really likes to catch it and put it on the floor, whether it be outside or inside. New Mexico has got to be aware of that. When he catches one-on-one -on -one inside low post, they've got to collapse on him and get him to pass or take a more difficult shot. Tied at 13, 8.45 to go here, first half at Arco Arena. White struggling, got in trouble. Nobody to help. Here comes Virginia. Dean did it with right thing going to the middle, powering in as Burrow gets a foul. They give it to number five, Charles Smith. His first, and for New Mexico, the fourth team foul. And some substitutions. J.J. Grigo, number 34, as we look at Parker taking a seat. Ryan Hayden on the bench. 34 is J.J. Grigo. Dave Bliss sent him in. Burrow goes back to the line. Burrow goes, blows that one off. Burrow's given name, Thomas Harold Burrow Jr. Out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Shooting 65% from the free throw line. And if he'll come up higher on his toes and really follow through, he has a much better chance of making free throws. Not having a good one. Robinson's right there. The flip, no good. They keep it alive. New Mexico ball was still tied at 13. New Mexico is going to figure out sooner or later that they're going to get themselves in a lot of trouble if they don't start doing a better job of boxing out at that free throw line. Charles Smith, Brown is the man. Nevs. Carries the three, cannot hit Nevs. 39% from three-point range, biggest lead for the Lobos, three points. It's a nice play that time by New Mexico State. Nevs set a pick, and instead of rolling, he popped outside to go to his strength, and he buries the outside shot. Oh, oh. the spin by Burrow. He knows he can take charge down low. One-point game. And again, putting it on the floor to gain himself a, a position of advantage, to get himself in balance, and to take the kind of shot that Burroughs wanted to take. Dave Bliss was telling us he was concerned about the physical nature of the uh, Virginia ball club. Felt it was basically going to be a finesse team versus a team that would bang. And if he could make it an open court game, get the threes to fall, get in transition, he'd have a much better opportunity to win. Robinson with the steal. Virginia can take the lead. 16-15, New Mexico. Wolliford gets a look. Rigo rebound for New Mexico. Seven minutes to go, first half. A change of pace. Got it blocked. Dean, good defensive play. Brown got it right back. Nebs, Wiener, last no. Burrow kept it alive for Lamar. Look at this. He had to change it. He's going for an NBA three. Nebs, no. Another loose ball. New Mexico, a lot of opportunities in the foul. By number 13, Jamal Robinson. <laughs> We're in Sacramento at Arco Arena, and this is what we have on our agenda today. Coming up next, Arizona against Loyola of Maryland. Do not confuse them with Marymount, Chicago, or New Orleans. Loyola of Maryland, Baltimore to be exact. Later on tonight, first game of our doubleheader, Louisville and Boise State. And then it's uh, Southern Illinois against Minnesota. First foul on Jamal Robinson. Charles Smith out of Fort Worth, Texas. Mexico struggled mightily with the shooting in the WAC tournament, only 35%. He misses that one. Alan Alexander, New Mexico ball. What a break. Lobos lead by two. We're returning to Arco Arena in a moment. 
Final Four, coming soon on CBS. This is the award-winning Goodyear AquaTread with its deep groove aqua channel. And this is the new Eagle AquaTread for performance sedans. A wider performance tire with two aqua channels to sweep water away. Now you get the wet traction of a Goodyear AquaTread and the performance of a Goodyear Eagle. One good turn deserves another. The new Eagle AquaTread, only from Goodyear. We say the best tires in the world have Goodyear written all over them. For the first time, there's a saw that combines a 12-amp motor, dust collection, and an auto brake. So there's no limit to what you can build. Introducing the Quantum Circular Saw, new from Black & Decker. You have a 30-year mortgage. So shouldn't you have a 30-year faucet? Moen. Buy it for looks. Buy it for life. If you ask us, this thing could come down to a contest between the Wildcats and State. Unless, of course, Western slam dunk Central. In which case, it'll be Eastern versus Southern. Got it? No? Now let's try something easier, like equipping an 88 Special Edition. Because we've already loaded it with what you want and priced it to be a real value. So you just need to pick a color. Well, we can't do everything. It's your money. They speak it in England, France, and Germany. It sounds the same in the U.S. and Mexico as it does in Hong Kong and Tokyo. It's the international language of business. And wherever it's spoken, Delta Airlines can put you right in the middle of the conversation. And then we'll bring you back to that place where you don't have to say a word to be understood. Delta Airlines. You are watching the NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. New Mexico leading by two here in game one of our West Region action at Sacramento's Arco Arena. And the offensive rebound numbers have been interesting, Larry. New Mexico has taken seven offensive rebounds and only produced one point. Virginia six, but only produced two points. And the struggle continues for Marlo White from deep. But yet another offensive rebound. Number 45, Greg Shortstein, pretty good shooter. Right through the hands of Pritchett. Can he save it? Can anybody save it? Got a rugby game breaking up. Virginia takes over. Good hustle by both teams to get after that loose ball. Cornell Parker. Jamal Robinson, Harold Dean, Alexander, and Yuri Barnes on the floor for the Cavaliers. Nice spin, Robinson. Some contact, no call. And will walk the floor in the Mexico ball. Burrow, his rest over, he's back. And he replaces Alexander, Chris Alexander, number 30. Dave Bliss, a couple of tenures with Bob Knight, one at Army, one at Indiana. He's happy to have this young man from controlling the ball. Greg Brown, Dave was talking about when he was an assistant at SMU. He did not recruit Spud Webb. <laughs> and mentioned whether or not Greg Brown could play or not. He was never going to not recruit a player based on size. <laughs> you learn your lesson quick in recruiting. And it's paid off for Dave. Here's Brown now. Another turnover by Virginia. Brown in a hurry. Finds White. Both teams with five turnovers. Brown in traffic. Pays for it. Burrow with the block. Dean right back. Robinson for cutters. Parker to the hole. No call. Burrow powers home for Virginia. Ten points for Burrow. We're tied at 17. That's how the game is played on the inside. Nice steal. Robinson takes it from White. And a foul on number 20, Marlo White. Marlo, first team All-Western Athletic Conference. But what a slump in the WAC Conference tournament. But there was a good, good defense and, and the reach in. Great hands by Jamal Robinson to strip the ball. And that's what led to the fast break opportunity. You've got to be alert when you have the basketball and, and be aware of where the defense is and where they are around you. And always looking to make sure that you don't get the ball stripped when you're in the open court. Looking for Burrow. He will be the man. Draws the double team. 
Now that's good team defense. That time Burroughs put the ball down, there was a quick double team. You make him pass the ball and not take the shot of big choice. Arms on a nice dish, scores his first bucket, 1917 Virginia. Folks checking this game out, would they be, should they be surprised at the score at this uh, juncture here? Like? Well, not really. It's early in the ball game. You've got two teams that are going to their strengths. You've got a team that's very physical. In Virginia, you've got a team that's very quick and finesseful in New Mexico. And right now, they're feeling each other out. Harold Dean. Nice move here as he gets inside the defense. Fakes left, goes right, plants his feet, and then makes the nice pass off dribble penetration. When you dribble penetrate and you really get the defensive ball from the help side, it opens up the weak side if you don't rotate back, and that's exactly what happened. Virginia with this possession coming off a New Mexico turnover. Barnes up top. Tip is good. Right there, number 22, Jason Williford, the junior out of Richmond, Virginia. His first basket. And the Cavaliers have opened up a four-point lead inside four minutes to go. Large portion of both teams' shot opportunities are coming off second shots. And I think the team that can establish itself on the defensive board is going to have an opportunity to spur. The roll by White. He finally scores. He's been having all kinds of trouble on the outside, so he does the smart thing, says, hey, I'll put it on the floor and get inside. Foul is on Jamal Robinson. Carlo White going to the basket. He's bumped, maintains his concentration, and like all good offensive players, he knows if he can get it close to the rim and put good touch on it, he might have an opportunity to get the basket. So number 22, Scott Pritchett, he's into the game. Robinson picked up the second foul. Marlo White, the lefty. Three-point play. He's got three points. One-point game. Virginia leads here in Sacramento. Enjoying the game? Yeah, but the Achieve a Special Edition from Oldsmobile's got some pretty slick moves, too. Check out this pick and roll. Here comes the back door. Take a look at our bench strength. Just watch. He shoots. It's your money. Mr. Gooden? That's right. Any relation to Dwight Gooden? <laughs> no, no, no. No, okay. Uh, do you have time for a couple of questions? Uh, short ones. Tell us about your HP LaserJet printer. My LaserJet? Yeah, what do you think about it? I don't. Ever? Uh, laser jets work. What's there to think about? But if you did? I don't. But if you did? Well, if I had to think about it, I probably wouldn't have one. But you do have one. No, I have two. Oh. Is that enough? Works for me. HP laser jet printers. You do your job, we'll do ours. Good idea. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, excuse me. Could you take uh, a picture of oh, us no. with Goro no, over there? If you take off to the Italian town of Todi, but your camera just takes off, where'd they go? You better have Visa Gold, because there's not a camera store there that takes American Express. There's a great shot. Visa Gold, it's everywhere you want to be. Let me guess. Spicy chicken sandwich. Have you noticed that people who like Wendy's spicy chicken like to step out a bit, live on the wild side? My daughter thinks it's too much. No way. That's because our whole chicken breast fillet has Dave's fiery blend of pepper and spices for a hot and spicy taste. So how much are you asking? The bike for the jacket. So try Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich and go wild. Dad, is that you? Something, huh? Experience a new relationship with the news. The CBS Evening News with Dan Rather and Connie Chung. Where your world comes together. Dave Sims and Larry Farmer with you from Sacramento, California, but in the other west bracket, Ogden, Utah, tomorrow's action at 4.35 Eastern Time, Syracuse and Wisconsin, Green Bay. And then the Badgers of Wisconsin will be in action against number one, Missouri. Gretchen came out in a 1-3-2 one, one half-court zone trap. Throw a different look at Virginia to see if they could catch them off guard and perhaps maybe get the ball, keep it outside. Nice block inside. 
Lamar Lewis. Make that Lewis Lamar. Check that. Lewis Lamar with the block. 21-20, Virginia over New Mexico. It's his 44th block of the year. He's got quick hands, and Lewis Lamar, number 25, is very gifted at getting up, timing the shot, and knocking it away. Gary Barnes. Pull, and that's blocked. Wolford shot blocked. Pritchett. Oh, what a steal. The pass wasn't high enough. Dean doesn't have numbers. Challenging anyway. He's sent back. Harold Dean made a, an excellent play defensively to time that pass out and steal it, but a poor decision going down on offense on a fast break, one against two, and not pulling the ball back out and just ma maintaining possession of the ball and getting it in a half-court set. Mexico looking for a lead here. Mexico, four turnovers in the last five trips. Lamar, the lead belongs to New Mexico, 22-21. Talked about controlling the ball. That whole play was set up. Dribble penetration by number five, Charles Smith. The defense helps. Draw the defense. Dish the ball. Barnes overpowered Neb. Burrow in tight. Tip no good. New Mexico ball. Not anymore. Belongs to Virginia. And now they're going to change the call. They changed the call. It belongs to New Mexico. Now that's off the penetration. Charles Smith doing a great job of alertly finding a teammate. Lewis Lamar making the nice dish to him and setting him up for the easy lane. Greg Brown back in the game, averaging close to 20 points a game. One point game here. New Mexico leading. The largest lead, three points. Smith, the pull up, got it. Boy, he was on his way down and had enough. Tough shot. Moving left, shooting back to the right. Really didn't get his feet planted. Took what you call a floater, but he took it off a plant and buried the shot. 7-0 run by the Lobos. Cavaliers need a, an answer. Nevs caught for trying to deny Burrow a spot. And Nevs is probably going to lose that battle. Nevs only is 205 pounds. Burrow, 248. Burrow's is in constant motion, and Nevs has got to get off and jump to position. He's not going to muscle at all with Burrow. He's got to beat him with his quickness. Interior defense is played seeing good man and ball and making sure you beat the player that you're guarding to the spots he wants to occupy. With that in mind, they made a switch. Shornstein comes in number 45. Burrow goes outside, and he's guarded by Lamar. They go right to Burrow. Burrow turns, draws a triple T, can't get it. Knocked away by White. Lobos break out, leading by three. And Charles Smith is waiting for it, dribbled into traffic and scores. He was standing alone. Give it to me, and he took it right to the defense for the biggest lead. Five points for the Lobos inside a minute. Charles and Smith 20. with that slashing style is more comfortable putting it on the floor, creating off the dribble than he is shooting the set shot. Dean misses. Dean's second try is good. 4-3. Three. Three. Harold Dean, 34% from three point. He's got six points today. Minute to go. And a two-point Lobo lead. Dave, is that not confidence? You're a freshman. You step out, you miss the first one, you get it back, and you're so focused, you know that next shot is going to go in. Greg Brown. Dean harassing him. Smith up top. And the reach foul by number 22, Jason Williford. Penzoil at the half. We'll have more live tournament action, so stay with us here on CBS. Second foul on Williford. Chris Havlicek comes into the game, number 15. Yes, you bet. The son of Hundo. John Havlicek, the Basketball Hall of Famer. Austin Celtic White sent back. Goal 10 will book that one. Chris Alexander with the send back. Dave Bliss going to an offensive-defensive rotation real quick. He's going to bring Pritchett and Hayden back in for Smith and Shortenstein. 35 seconds to go. Chris Alexander got called for that block, not because it was obviously on the way down, but he was so close to the basket, nine times out of ten, the referees will give that basket to the offense. Shot clock, game clock, right on time. They are in sync. Dean pulls it back. Solid defense now, no mistakes. 
Dave Bush just made the switch and put Brown on Dean. Quickness against quickness. Dean, leader, Faye, great defense by New Mexico's Brown. Should be able to get a shot. Brown, got to pull it up, gets it off. It's good and goes. Nonetheless, the Lobos, the 10th seed, lead it 28 to 24. That's our score here at halftime. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NBA Basketball Championship will continue after these messages. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the first round of the NCAA Basketball Championship is sponsored by Oldsmobile, Wendy's, and by Visa. New Mexico finished the first half with an 11-3 run. They lead by four here at halftime. Dave Sims and Larry Farmer with you. And take a look at Junior Burrow of Virginia. He's the only one really getting it done on offense. Junior Burrow really doing a terrific job of putting the ball down, getting himself in a position where he feels he's got the best look and scoring on the inside. Greg Brown in the open court with the nice shake. He's got no conscience, no limit to his range, and he buries that three. New Mexico, which really makes its living on the three-point shot at uh, 39%, not having a good first half, but leading nonetheless by four. What kind of strategy change you look for here in the second half, Larry? Well, I think New Mexico has got to come out and do a guy for the tournament. And that was one of them right there. You just got that out of your mouth. Just got Largest it out. lead. And none other than Marlon White, who had a brutal first half of shooting. White just two for six, 0 oh for four from three. But they've got to get that with patience, and Virginia's got to run their offense and really get something going on the outside. They're going to power the inside. They're going to offensive rebound, but they've got to complement that by knocking down some medium-range shots to really loosen up New Mexico's defense. Robinson on the dribble. Rolls it off, and on the foul call, we're going to walk the floor. Foul was on number 22. That's Jason Wilford. He's third. Goal goal percentage. Rather low for both of these clubs. Virginia shoots 39% on the field and rebounding. Yeah, but look at that. Both teams pounding the offensive boards and scoring points off of it. And as I said in the first half, I thought the team that could start to defensive rebound and get in the transition so they could get some easy baskets, you'll see the shooting percentage go up. And I think that will really change the tempo of this game. Kanachi Nevs outside had a real good look. It's run down and then taken away. Knocked out of bounds. It's Virginia ball. Dave Bliss going to like when he saw that first half. They didn't do real well from long range first half and still had a four point halftime lead. New Mexico, the 10th seed here in the West Region of Sacramento. Virginia, the 7th seed. Your leading scorer. New Mexico. The, uh, some housekeeping is taken care of here. New Mexico, 14 to 3 run, Larry. And the Lobos lead 31 24. Run your offense out for Virginia. Go to your strengths. You can get it inside, but again, be alert, be ready to take that medium range shot. Crash the offensive board and make sure you get back defensively. Barnes will fade away. Couple of bounces. New Mexico ball. Brown back quickly. White. Good stop. Kick it outside. Smith. Good pass inside. Lamar scores. Lewis Lamar on the pass from Charles Smith. Nine point lead. Four points. That slashing uh, style of Charles Smith, a lot of times when you see a player put it on the floor, the defensive players will turn and look, lose vision on where their man is, the man that they're assigned to. What happens with the nice feed is you give up a layup. Burrow pounds it in, can't get it. Loose ball, the breakout by New Mexico. Marlo White finds Smith. Oh, he tried to tee up the three. He was ready to bang <laughs> that one. You gotta catch it first before you shoot. Change of pace by Brown. He loses, but it's off Harold Dean. As I mentioned, sometimes dribble penetration will really influence everybody, and you saw in that play, Junior Burris comes over to help out to try and prevent Charles Smith from getting the layup, frees up his man, 
Nice interior pass, two points. New Mexico really looking to take control. I mean, lock this game down in the early stages here, second half. Stay at this end of the court. Two and a half into the second half, 33-24, and look at the shooter. Mexico and Virginia with an offer so far. Your coach, you get a little bit concerned, and you get up and you start calling plays when you're in the half court set, but you really push the defense. Look at that shot. Oh, again, the little guy, Greg Brown, he's got 12 points, and we got a double-digit lead. You've got to love his, his attitude towards shooting range. If he's in the building, he's in his shooting range. Penetration by Robinson. Draws a foul. Fearless would be one of many adjectives used to describe Greg Brown. Now, you, you see the screen set up there. And obviously, if you're a defender, you got to be aware of where the screen is. You're talking. You're, he's not going to take that shot. His coach is not going to let him shoot from out there. Boom. He makes it. Five points, four rebounds for the freshman, Junior Burrow. Check that by Jamal Robinson. He's out of Monsignor McClancy, New York City. Earl Queens. Good trip, and Jamal trying to get his ball club into this one again. It's a 10-point lead. Lobo's lead. Quick screen and pop again. Mexico very good at that. Doing that out of transition. Nevs and Brown. You know, defensively, if you're guarding a player like Mike Brown, I had a rule when I played. The first two are on me. Dean with the steal from Brown. Brown tries to steal it right back, and Dean gave it right to Smith. He knocked it out of bounds. And getting a protest from Jeff Jones. Jeff trying to get an explanation. His team down now by 10 points. Mexico with its outside game. New Mexico can be real dangerous from out there. 45% on the season, 39% from three-point range. I was just talking about my rule. The first two jumpers from that far out would be on me. And after that, I would close out. And the rest of the shots that that player made, they were going to be on my teammates because I was going to make that player shooting those balls. And White with the follow. Put it on the floor and drive. White with 10 points after a struggle from the outside. He's changed his game. And he's taking it right to the rim. Burrow beats the man to the ball and a foul on the play. That's on number 25, Lamar. Well, there's a nice curl. Now watch him stay with the ball. The shooter always knows where that ball is going to come out. And that's the second time Marlon White has penetrated to the basket. He's a left-handed player, but used the right hand to try and create a scoring opportunity for himself. Foul was on Lamar, his second. 38-26. New Mexico leads Virginia. 16 minutes to go in the ball game. Burrow working, had it knocked loose. Nevs controls for New Mexico. Brown looking for something. He's inside. Creates a play. No call. I think Lamar really thought he was going to draw the contact on that on that shot, lost concentration, really did not take the kind of shot you like to see a power player take on the inside. That shot by Robinson. Tried to get a foul, tried to draw some contact, and didn't get it. Mexico has had separate runs today of 9-zip and 10-zip. Lobo's lead by 12. Smith, White's failing it on the dribble. Good look here by Smith. Got the three. Biggest lead of the afternoon. 41-26, New Mexico, the 10th seed on top of 7th seed of Virginia. Go Phillies. Timeout, Wahoos. 15.05 to go. The women's final four are coming soon on CBS. There are over 3 million miles of roads in America. And if you're on any one of them, Chevrolet will be there. Our genuine customer care program will take care of you with a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty, 24-hour roadside assistance, six-year, 100,000-mile corrosion protection, free courtesy transportation if your car ever needs service, and the largest dealer network in the country. That's genuine customer care. Genuine Chevrolet.
like the bonus say, in spring we train real hard. Yeah. So we look good on our baseball cards. They're ball players, or so they say. They'd rather be doing ads for Ben Gay. If they ain't in shape, they don't care. Just ink the deal to hawk underwear. We're ball players, and we're okay. Get in shape by opening day. Thanks to these, we'll be ready to play. Oh, we'll ship your bucks to double A. Yeah. The Monday night game of a lifetime. Yeah! The game you'll never forget. Yeah! Will Evening Shade finally win one? Look, if you're wearing that for luck, I'd, I'd rather lose. Then, is Dave too old to coach soccer? No more than shirts. You look like a real door. Or just too hip. What are they doing? A footwork drill. It looks like the hokey pokey. Dave's World, right after Evening Shade, Monday. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the first round of the NCAA Basketball Championship is sponsored by Chevrolet, Budweiser, and by Dean Witter. State Capitals, Sacramento, the centerpiece downtown here in Sacramento, California. And Virginia needs some answers right now. Cavaliers have missed their last seven shots in 13 of 14. The Lobos are taking command. Crow inside. The turn. No good. Barnes with the follow. And it touched every bit of the rim before going down. He's got four points. Larry, now you know, and now a lot of people know why Jeff Jones, the Virginia coach, bristled at the suggestion at the news conference yesterday that Virginia would be a heavy favorite in this game. <laughs> well, you, you, know, you throw that out the window, and it's really lining up and seeing how your teams will come out and deal with all the pressure and excitement of playing in this tournament. And a lot of times when the teams are evenly matched, it's the team that gets into a rhythm first that will really establish themselves in the ball game. White still looking for his on the outside from three. But just the way this game's been going, New Mexico maintains control. Got a 13-point lead. Approaching 14 minutes left in the ball game. And this can wear your, your concentration down defensively. Brown, straight on. No, Nebs, another new 35. And what I mean by that, Dave, is now you play two full trips of defense. You've done a good job, and somehow one of your teammates has broken down and allowed his man to take an offensive rebound. What happens is you break down as a team, and then you wind up giving up an easy shot. Nebs, baseline. No, and Robinson with the rebound for Virginia. Wolford goes for three. Follows to the lane and a foul. You talk about pick and roll. This is beautiful offense right here. What's going to happen, we're going to get the screen. Up. Dribble penetration. There's the pass. Now watch the pick on the ball. Pops back out. And Charles Smith buries the outside shot. Second foul on Marlo White. Well, they've been running that play real well. They're for two points and seven boards. That's 67% from the line. Charles Smith back in the game for Pritchett. Thirteen twenty-nine remaining here in the ball game, Virginia. Just three for nine from the line. And Virginia on the season at 66%. Now the pressure. Not a bad strategy to try and create havoc. Virginia scoring from the free throw line and going to a zone trap. Greg Brown is the guy you want operating in a situation like this. 41-29, New Mexico over Virginia. A lot of time in this ball game, Dave, but you got to make sure now defensively that you buckle down and you're in man to man and you don't allow the man that you're assigned to to get an offensive rebound again. It really breaks you down defensively. It focuses on your concentration when you allow offensive rebounds to happen. Jeff Jones got to go deep on his bench now. Williford is fourth foul. And he calls on number 32, Mike Powell, to come into the game. 13 minutes even. Left in the ball game. To the hole, right to the hole, and throws it down as Charles Smith. He's got 13. That's one of those good news, bad news plays. Charles Smith makes the great move to the basket and score. The bad news is there was no help side defense by Virginia. Breaking out is Brown. 
White to the hole. He kicks it back. Mims, good movement. Great movement. White in the air. Oh, he just missed it. Boy, the New Mexico bench is ready to touch the ceiling had he hit that one. 14-point lead. Dean creating. Got hammered. Makes the bucket. No call. He's got eight points. Brown breaking out. You want to get up and, and, and press in this situation to see if you can create a different tempo. Test New Mexico's ability to handle the ball. You've scouted them. Maybe you found out to videotape that New Mexico can be pressed. Or they make bad decisions at the end of the press. But you want to do it now to see if you can gain any advantage. If it doesn't work and you continue to give up layups in it, you must get out and play solid half-court defense. Shot clock at six. Brown to the corner. White long range. No, again, he's having a nightmare. Robinson, good pass. Powell, no call. Stepped on the line, Virginia ball. Lewis Lamar was on the end line. It's 43-31, New Mexico over Virginia. You can see it on his face. He has run the human race. You can see when a man has the best shave. He uses Gillette Sensor. See the spirit, see the pride that comes from deep inside. He adds Gillette Shaving Gel, the best gel ever, and Gillette Aftershave Skin Conditioner for maximum comfort. Together with Sensor, there's no better shave in the world. Gillette, the best a man can get. It seems these days folks are taking a new look at their priorities. With that in mind, Chevy brings you the roomiest full-size pickup ever made so that family can come first and work second. The extended cab from Chevrolet. Chevy, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Imagine adhesives so strong they help hold together 100 tons of soaring transportation. Imagine a fabric so bright it lets you see an accident in time to prevent it. Imagine a single disc so powerful it can soar everything imaginable and protect it for a lifetime. These products and thousands more that make our lives better exist because the people at 3M imagine. face their past and expose the ultimate betrayal someday. Lobos by a dozen here at Sacramento's RK Arena. Dave Sims and Larry Farmer with you. First round action, West Region in the NCAA tournament. Virginia Cavalier has been struggling. Here's the, their main man, Burrow, inside. Gets what he wants, and that's been about it on the offensive end, Larry. And that was a beautiful move. Fake to the inside, he called the up and under. Fake the shot to the inside, drop step, and power the ball to the glass. He's got to get involved offensively to get the finger back in the game. Just blow Burrow's got 12. Not a lot happening from the outside for the Cavaliers. Greg Brown being guarded by Parker. Joyce Dean. Smith, Brown, Eight on and the Lewis clock. Lamar in the game. White will let her rip. He's determined to knock one down. Can't get it. Here's Robinson. Get out. Burrow wants it down deep. He's got it. Double team. No difference to Junior Burrow. Junior Burrow, 14 points. He's established himself mightily in the third area. Lewis Lamar is playing defense on Burrow's and. Again, you must get your defensive work done early. If you're not as strong as a player that you're guarding, you must use your quickness and beat him to spots. Try and force Burroughs further away from the basket when he catches the ball. Shot clock coming up 
on 10 seconds. Brown pulls. No, he can't get it. New Mexico struggling from three. Missed their last seven. Parker inside. Left is good for the baseline. Wahoo's coming right back. 43-37 inside 10 minutes to go. And Dave Bliss takes this moment and a good one to call a timeout. 8-0 run by Virginia. The women's final four coming soon on CBS. What else would you expect from the country that invented rock and roll? Then you flip the hat. You're late and you got the wrong hat. Sit in the corner. Ooh, no respect at all. Then you raise the hat. Hey, this thing's too alive. Wrong hat. Then you slam the hat. Then you spin the hat. Oh, I need landing instructions. Wrong hat. Then you smooth the hat. Take it easy, will you? I think I'm having a hat attack. You need the right hat. It's your star hat. Now I'll get some respect. The forecast called for a calm, quiet meeting. But a tempest rages instead. It's often the case in today's international business climate. Which is why we prepare to place high above it all with worldly comforts that refresh, restore, and renew. United Airlines. The calm before and after the storm. Come fly the airline that's united in the world. Come fly the friendly sky. How we doing? Dave needs to see you. I'll be right there. Hey, Ron. Brad, man, how you doing? All right. Brad Johnson has a lot to think about. Where's my table? Dave needs in the kitchen right now. A couple that's why he chose AT&T. Competitive prices without the hassle is his AT&T business advantage. Oh, hey, Joey, get the big What's up, Dave? You got problems. Call the plumber. So what does Brad think about his long-distance service now? He doesn't. AT&T works for me. Let AT&T work for you. You are watching the NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. Just under 10 minutes to go here at Arthur Arena. Dave Sims and Larry Farmer with you. New Mexico, 43-37 over Virginia. J.J. Griego's in the game, number 34 for the Lobos. Smith and Brown in the backcourt. Nevs. Lamar and Grigo up front. Shot fire. Running down. Nebs with a straight off for three. Wins it. Parker rebound for Virginia. Check that foul. Foul has it knocked away. Good hustle by number 25, Lewis Lamar, and a foul. Now, part of your team offense is any time you're behind one of your teammates who has the basketball and you see a defender trying to run him down from behind is to communicate to him and let him know that someone's coming up left or someone's coming up right. That time there was a turnover because Virginia did not do that. They did not communicate on offense. I.E. scream. Look out! <laughs> but you got to talk both on offense and defense. You bet. 43-37, 29 minutes to go. Rigo gets the paint, has it blocked. A resounding block by Car Cornell Parker. D. Fade and rolls it in. to the basket, has it knocked away. Virginia Cavaliers on a 10-0 run to get back into this game. New Mexico leading 43-39. 8.32 to go. Dave Sims and Larry Farmer with you. First round action at Arco Arena. And New Mexico, even though one of their star players 
White, number 20, is shooting four for 13 from the field. They've been in control, Larry. But they have and a lot of those missed shots that you're talking about, Brown missing, have been offensive rebounded and given New Mexico second shot opportunities. Shot clock going down. They have to let it rip. And can you believe that? A foul with the shot clock down. Robinson, that is the ultimate bailout. And that's also his third personal foul. The shot clock was just about out. And look how far out he is. And as a rule, you've got to be aware of where the shot clock is. But even if you don't, when a player's that far out, you want to get out and pressure the shot. You don't want to go out and foul a guy and bail him out of taking a shot that's probably out of his range or a shot that is ill-advised. 13 points, five rebounds to Charles Smith. The freshman out of Fort Worth, Texas. Well, you know, if you get fouled taking a shot like that, and then you step up to the line and you miss your free throws, it has exactly the same effect as, as a turnover. You had the ball, you had a chance to score, and you come away empty. Softened up the touch on that one, one out of three. 439 Lobos. 131. Three-quarter court trapped that time. By New Mexico again changing the look. Burrow takes it to the glass. The follow is missed. Burrow gets it. Burrow scores. Burrow. 16 for the Cavaliers. They're down now by three. Burrow's is fun to watch on the inside. He just carves himself. Oh, what a pick outside. Sure now was. Set on Dean. You got to call that. 12-1 run by the Cavaliers. Another miss by White. No call. Virginia breaks right back. Robinson outside. Burrow getting all kinds of attention now when he posts up. Catches there. Wheels. Fade. Scores. One point ball game. 18 for Burrow. Burroughs has come alive, and he's doing the same thing every time. He's working without the basketball, giving a good target once he receives it. He's taking the dribble to put himself in a position to take the kind of shot he wants to take. New Mexico must help down from the perimeter and take Burroughs out of that rhythm. Turnover. We'll stay at this end. Charles Smith almost lost it. Here's where the extra shot comes in. Burroughs misses. Robinson tips it, keeps it alive. Burroughs comes right back, gathers himself, and lays it softly over the front of the rim. That's a player not to be denied on the inside. Yuri Barnes, number 24, back in for Virginia. Here's the story to this point. UVA on a big run. They were down double digits in this ballgame. New Mexico tried to put a lock on it. They were down 41-26. White has struggled. And a foul on the play. Why would you want to foul White when he came into the game the last three games shooting 31%, and he's shooting 31% in this game? Well, Cornell Parker didn't really give a nice cushion defensively. Used his arm, the old pro hand check, and got called for the foul. Really not a smart foul by a very good defensive player. Jeff Jones' club's done a good job to get back into it. Parker, his first foul. 15-point lead down to one for New Mexico. Here's Lamar. Byron Smith underneath. Draws the crowd. Foul on the play. And they're going to get it on number 32. Mike Powell. That will be his second foul. Arco Arena here at Sacramento, California. Here's what we're looking at coming up after our game. Arizona against the Cinderella, Cinderella Ball Club, Loyola of Maryland. And then tonight, it's Louisville and Boise State, Minnesota against Southern Illinois. So we've got some really good matchups here at Arco. New Mexico, four for eight at the line here in the second half. In the WAC tournament, Charles Smith Shot 9 for 23, 39%, and that was the best of the starters. Tells you how it has been difficult. 16 points for Smith. Tells you the difficulty that the Mexico's had shooting coming into this game, although they did pick it up. North by the one zone by New Mexico. He put Brown on the baseline. And Dean goes over the top to tie it. Harold Dean, the freshman.
freshman out of Ettrick, Virginia. Ties the score at 46. He's got 13. So now the pressure's on the Lobos. Had a 15-point lead. And we've got a deadlock now, approaching six minutes to go. And Dean has picked up his pressure on Greg Brown. Doing a very good job of denying seeing man and ball and really locking in and not letting Brown catch it. Big shot. Charles Smith. Lobos needed that one. Charles Smith has got 18. Doubled his average. Time remaining. Here in our first game in Sacramento. Burrow has to step outside. Inside now to Barnes. Check out Parker's in there. And it's out of bounds on White. We'll stay here, Virginia Ball. Parker very fortunate at that time. He took a power dribble on the inside in traffic, but instead of the ball going up knee high, went all the way up to his waist. And again, very lucky he did not get stripped of the basketball. Barnes to Burrow. Here's Robinson. Dean and Parker on the floor for Virginia. Inside the Burrow. Wheels, and they get a traveling violation. Dave Bliss. And the Lobos of New Mexico get a break there. Numbers have picked up markedly for the Wahoos of Virginia. They're going back to their strength, and when you can get the ball inside to your power players, they're getting easier shots, and of course, you've got a better chance of making those. That is the key example of, of getting it inside and finishing. Smith, the pull up. <laughs> a beauty by Charles Smith. He's got 20. He's feeling it. He can put it on the floor and use the screen or free it off, off of his own quickness. He's burying those shots. Four-point lead for the Lobos. 440 to go. High and deep is Dean. Fourth three. Harold Dean's got 16 points. One-point Lobo lead. Dean. Oh, what a pick. Dean just got creamed again by Nebs. Yuri Barnes has got to call that screen. His man is stepping up and setting the pick, and you've got to talk on defense. One thing about uh, Dean, he can take a punch. Hook pass, inadvertent, ill-advised. Virginia can't convert, though. Everybody had a piece of it. Who's going to end up with it? <laughs> they got a soccer match. Parker ran over everybody. Brown breaking out for New Mexico. Slips in traffic, knocked away. And White comes up after, after the block by Dean. Good hustle by Marlowe White. Brown really no place to go, even with his great quickness and ball handling ability. Got the ball to the hoop, but he was in traffic, two defenders on him, and probably uh, made a poor decision. White needs it. Got it! Biggest shot of the day for White. Marlowe White, 12 points. Big shot from the outside. He has not fared well from outside today. Burrow takes his game outside. Nevs rebounds for New Mexico. That is certainly a makeable shot for Burrow, but in a game like this, you want to go to your strength. Where he's getting it done is eight feet and in. Dean is looking for the pick that time. Any cobwebs knocked loose. Smith to pull up again. He's short this time. Kept alive by White. Brown's got it. Nebs will get a freebie. And that's it, Nebs. It's a two. And the Lobos have opened up a five-point lead. Six points for Nebs. Many coaches refer to that shot as the worst in basketball. You're back far enough to have a three. Lobos trying to win. Stand the challenge. With ITT Financial Resources, ITT's automotive division developed traction control, engineered advanced wiper systems, and pioneered anti-lock brakes. And we plan to invest $2.7 billion in the next five years to make cars even safer. If you've never thought about who makes the parts in your car, Maybe it's time you did. ITT. We're adding more than just our name. It's the dawn of a new generation. 
the new generation of clean gasoline. A breakthrough in technology from Texaco that can clean up over time what came before. An advanced system of engine cleaning in every octane grade for the highest performance, lower emissions, and improved mileage. Texaco introduces the gasoline that's changing what gasoline can do. New Clean System 3. Give us 60 days and watch what can happen. To make the new Chevy S-Series trucks incredibly quiet, foam plugs, triple sealed doors, and acoustic panels redirect road, engine, and wind noise. Because even the smallest noise can hurt a reputation. The 94 Chevy S-Series, so new from the inside out, everything else is history. guys feel comfortable with Jackie. Genuine Jackie. He's tired of the crime. And when they come after his family... Then he'd kill us both! He's tired of playing by the rules. Steven Seagal, marked for death Tuesday, contains some violent scenes. New Mexico up 54-49 over Virginia. Let's take a look at Charles Smith. He's a right-handed player, putting it down and going left. Stops on a dime, nice up and under fake, and buries the jump shot. Nice one-on-one -on -one move. And they get Greg Brown on the push. He wouldn't allow Dean to turn the corner. A little bit too much body there. And there's the man of the hour for Charles Smith. Come up with some good ones today. 41% shooter coming into today's game. Looking for Burrow. They find Burrow. Burrow powers. Can't score, but he'll shoot a couple at the foul line. Foul number 25, Louis Lamar. His third personal, 15 foul. New Mexico Lobos leading 54 49. Final 212 here in the ballgame at Sacramento and Arco Arena. New Mexico had a 15-point lead early in the second half. Burrow has struggled at the line 0 for 4. And his first of the afternoon. He's got 19 points, and he's been the story. And it's been all inside for Junior Burrow. And that's his, his strength. I'd look for Virginia to go full court defense again and really try and get things taken up. Virginia with the pressure. Nebs in trouble, gave it up. Got it back. Out of bounds, New Mexico ball. Nebs very fortunate at that time. He was looking to get the ball back to the point guard, Greg Brown, and he was very wise to do that. Two minutes to go in the Lobos of New Mexico. Got to have a productive trip here. Charles Smith has been their man from the outside. White dumped down. Lamar is there. And a turnover with the traveling violation. So another life for Virginia. Dave Bliss's ball club is up 41-26 early in the second half. Virginia has not led since 21-20 late first half. Virginia, the seventh seed. Down by three. And they have not had a productive game as a team from the outside. Here's their man, Burrow. Good defense. Parker, Parker scores for Virginia. Well, that was a great pass by Burroughs. I don't think the score is going to credit him with that assist, but... First bucket of the afternoon for Cordell Parker. We've got a one-point game with a minute 20 to go here at Arco. We'll be right back. Okay, classic cars. 63 Vets. Split wheel. Right. 68 Camaro Supersport. GTO, any year. Nice. 
Gran Torino? Starsky and Hutch. Good car. 65 Mustang Rat. It's obvious. 75 Pacer. <laughs> <laughs> Tail fins. Bumper bullets. Bench seats. Drive. Drive. Boss 302s. 427 Big Block LED8 with an 850 double pump. Beachwood aged Budweiser. Crisp, clean, classic. Examine this carefully before you buy your next car. Not just because it has standard dual airbags and starts at under $11,500, but because this is the Geo Prism, and 98% of the people who bought a Prism would recommend Prism to a friend. So before you buy your next car, foreign or domestic, call 1-800-GET-TO-KNOW and get to know Geo Prism. Your friends would. Imagine a processor that's not just about more power. It's about an entirely new kind of PC. One that responds instantly to whatever you ask of it. One that breathes new life, a new spark into all your software. That's the power of the Pentium processor. From Intel, the computer inside... From Gillette comes a revolutionary form of antiperspirant protection. Gillette Clear Gel Antiperspirant. Because it's a clear, clean, powerful gel, it goes on smoothly with no white residue to form an invisible barrier of protection. All day protection against both wetness and odor. Gillette Clear Gel Antiperspirant. One of the advanced deodorants and antiperspirants in the Gillette series. Eastwood returns in his most famous role, Dirty Harry. Go ahead. Sudden impact. Make my day. Contains some violent scenes. Monday. Pretty normal sight in the NCAA tournament. First round action here at Arco. A prayerful time, and his club is leading by a point with the ball. Here's our story. Both teams with a T.O. Virginia's next foul will put New Mexico in the one-on-one. Neves. In some trouble. Charles Smith. Greg Brown, what a matchup this has been with Dean. Brown throws it up. Clark not answered. Burrow with the rebound for Virginia. The Cavaliers inside a minute to take the lead. Very spectacular shot that time by Brown, but certainly not the one you wanted. Burrow, air ball. Willingford scores. Willingford puts Virginia up by one. Look for Brown to create. Here is this the answer? No, you want to get in a rhythm, and if he's going to create, do it out of a pick and roll situation, so you at least have an opportunity to get to the offensive ball. Smith took a look at it. Smith will fire. Smith will miss. Rebound. Lamar's got it. No, it's Virginia ball. Twenty-eight point five seconds left. Virginia by one. Time out for last discussion, and it will be an important one. Back to Arco right after this. Tony Gregory, Cincinnati, Ohio, 83,000 miles. Sandy Carl, Atworth, Georgia, 98,000 miles. Jim Bobbitt, Broomall, Pennsylvania, 110,000 miles. We can't promise you the very same mileage these Michelin owners got. But we can promise you this. The very same peace of mind. Michelin. For this guy, any deodorant will do. But these guys need Speed Stick. Antiperspirant that gives 110%. And now Speed Stick deodorant has a powerful new formula to fight odor. Speed Stick. For movers and shakers, the number one. The only one. <laughs> For his retirement, Neil McBain had no intention of slowing down. That's why Dean Witter mapped out his financial course with only one goal in mind. Victory. Dean Witter. We measure success one investor at a time. <laughs> the game. Some just play it. Others own it. The ones who own it see what no one else sees and know what no one else knows. Nobody knows the game like cops. Tops gives you the players you want, the stats that matter, and pictures that tell the whole story. 
own tops, and you own more than a card. You own the game. The first time I switched pain relievers, it was from aspirin to Tylenol. Then recently, I switched again from Tylenol acetaminophen to Advil. You see, I got these really pounding headaches, and I found Tylenol didn't always get rid of all the pain. So I tried Advil and found that for my really tough headaches, two Advil worked better than two extra strength Tylenol tablets, better than extra strength Tylenol caplets, better than Tylenol gel caps. For my tough headaches, Advil just works better. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. The Monday night game of a lifetime. Yeah! The game you'll never forget. Yeah! Will Evening Shade finally win one? Look, if you're wearing that for luck, I'd, I'd rather lose. Evening Shade, Monday. New Mexico behind by one with 28.5 seconds left to go. They have got to get up and go after the steal of this inbounds pass, make a quick swipe at the ball, and then foul immediately. Burrow. And they call a foul. Final 24.2 seconds to go in our ball game. The Virginia Cavaliers were down by 15 early in the second half, and they've done a super job to take control of this game. A foul on that play. It's a sixth foul. Now the seventh foul will put Virginia in the line on the line for the one and one. Really thought New Mexico let too much time tick off the clock on that initial inbounds. You know you've got to foul. Go after the steal. If you can't get the steal, foul right away so you don't allow precious seconds that you're going to need when you gain possession of the ball to tick away. Nibs with the foul. Make that Brown with the foul. And it was his third. Dean at the line's got 16 points. He's a 71 percenter from the line. Virginia, 56-54. New Mexico's got to make sure if this is a missed free throw, they boxed out. Whether it's made or missed, they've got to get the ball up quickly and look to get off a quick shot. Dean, good trip. Three-point lead, 23-3 to go. 8 0 run by Virginia. Don't forget, Brown's got tremendous range. Virginia acknowledges with some great defense. Clock winding now. Nev's forces. Contact the call. Virginia's got the ball. And he stepped on the line. What a turnover. Cornell Parker trying to dribble off some clock. Stepped out of bounds. 9.1 seconds left. Plenty of time to get off a three here, Farm. It really is. And you get it inbounded, set some screens, get some dribble penetration. See if you can create something that will give you an easy look at the basket. Bad pass. Brown's got it. Clock going down. Heaves the three in the air. Nebs, Nebs, it's a two. And Virginia comes from 15 points down. The seventh seed of Virginia Cavaliers win the game 57-54. Virginia made seven of its last 10 shots to come from behind and knock off the 10th seed New Mexico Lobos. New Mexico missed its last 10 shots from three-point range. And Larry, that was the strong point for the Lobos coming in, having shot nearly 800 threes and making almost 40%. So for Larry Farmer, the Virginia Cavaliers push their record now to 18 and 12. New Mexico at 23 and 8. You know, it's just a, a war on the boards, and when Virginia really went to their strength, they got it done. From Arcor Arena, 57-54. So for Larry Farmer, I'm Dave Sims, saying so long from Arcor Arena. The final score, Virginia wins it 57-54.